Did you know that cartels employ around 175,000 people, making them the fifth largest employer in Mexico? And they're not slowing down. The country's drug problem worsened after Colombian cartels crumbled in the 80s. Today, Mexican drug cartels are responsible for 70% of the foreign narcotics flowing into the United States. A recent study highlighted that more than 1.7 million people in Latin America are incarcerated, and packing more people into jails isn't the solution. So, what's the solution? In the 90s, the Guadalajara cartel splintered after leader Felix Gallardo's arrest. One faction was the Sinaloa cartel, where El Chapo made a name for himself. He used his experience to form his own cartel, quickly gaining a reputation for brutal violence against rival gangs. Kidnapping, torture, and murder were common. Despite his mid-90 seconds arrest, El Chapo escaped and in his cartel group, trafficking cocaine, methamphetamine, and heroin. Even after El Chapo's 2019 arrest, the cartel thrived under his son's leadership. With such a powerful cartel, it's no wonder civilians were radicalized to fight back. The Jalisco New Generation Cartel emerged in the 2010s as a competitor, amassing over $20 billion through ruthless violence. Alongside other major cartels like the Gulf Cartel and Las Heras, Mexico is now home to nearly 150 cartels. In 2006, the Mexican government declared war on the cartels. Since then, there have been 360,000 homicides, many involving cartel and cartel violence. These gangs influence every aspect of Mexican life, including politics. In recent elections, powerful gangs targeted politicians who threatened their operations, using violence and intimidation to sway outcomes. Certain cartels control key routes and monopolize specific markets. Decades of drug activity have made these organizations ambitious, leading to further fragmentation. And with fragmentation comes more gun violence and civilian casualties, creating a vicious cycle of tribalism and radicalization. Each cartel operates differently. The Sinaloa cartel controls much of the Northwest, affecting U.S. border security by smuggling drugs. They aim to control the entire vertical chain of industries, both legal and illegal. Conversely, the Jalisco New Generation focuses on conquering territories and imposing taxes, using extreme violence to maintain control. Bribery of officials is common across all cartels, rendering government policies ineffective. Since the COVID-19 pandemic, cartel activities have escalated. They recruit new talent to produce meth, fentanyl, and other drugs. Mexican authorities have seized five times more fentanyl since 2020. The open attitude towards certain drugs in some U.S. states fuels this growth. Cartels exploit every opportunity, whether smuggling drugs through tunnels or obtaining military-grade weapons through blackmail. This escalating violence and instability contribute to the flow of refugees to the U.S. With Biden's recent ban on asylum seekers, the future looks bleak for distressed Mexicans. Yet, the drug trade shows no signs of stopping, driven by a vast global market. If you learned something from this video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more content, and let us know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.